folks. <coughs> um, seems I got quite a bit of a response from my video on the number one tip of uh, playing fretless bass, namely a good hand position with the left hand so that your fingers fall under the notes for you so that you can uh, get good intonation. Uh, but I had one or two comments on that saying, oh, you know, if you hold that hand position all the time, you're going to have trouble with your wrist and stuff like that. Well, I'll address that by saying the number two tip is you don't have to do this with your wrist bent contorted round and your fingers spread out like that all the time. When you're doing uh, more demanding runs, scaly kind of stuff, yes, you need that. You got to do that then. You got to do it so that so that you get, you know, you you play those kind of runs and things like that. But when you're doing a normal bass player's, player's job, you're not doing that all the time. So therefore, you can just let your hand and your wrist, wrist relax and do whatever you can get away with without stressing yourself. And then only kind of do that when you need to. So, you know, if you're just doing something like... Whatever. You can allow your fingers, you can relax your wrist and allow your fingers to bunch up a bit. Uh, you see lots of people don't appear to be spreading their fingers that much, but that's because they are, they've gotten used to it and they're, they're adopting that hand position kind of, but then they are just moving their hands slightly as they play it so they don't have to spread them so much. I've got my thumb position is remaining the same. Then my hand is just adjusting a little bit like this all the time so that I don't have to spread it totally, you know, so much. Put so much strain on, on your wrist and fingers. So, that's great for playing the good stuff. Playing the fast stuff, adopt that good hand position. But when you're not doing anything quite so demanding, relax and uh, don't stress it so much. Okay, so hope it helps. Thanks for watching.